Smile and learn. Do you know how scientists discover new things? Well, not exactly. You're in luck, Smiley. Because today we're going to learn one of the best tricks, the scientific method. The scientific method is the steps we follow to investigate and understand the world. It gives us the most reliable information possible. Then, we can use it to build knowledge. Thanks to this method, scientists have made great discoveries throughout history that have saved millions of lives. The steps of the scientific method are Question Research Hypothesis Experiment Observe and collect data Analyze and conclude Let's take a closer look Question It all starts with a question. Imagine we want to know which type of chocolate melts faster. White chocolate, milk chocolate, or dark chocolate? That's our question. Interesting, right? Research The next step is to research. We can read scientific books and magazines, search the internet for reliable sources, or ask experts about the subject. This information helps us to better understand our question. We also learn about variables or the factors that can affect it. I talk to the expert bakers and research the ingredients of different types of chocolate online. Hypothesis Now it's time to make a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess about what we think will happen based on the information we have. For example, if our research shows that white chocolate has the most fat and the fat melts easily, we can say that white chocolate melts faster because it has more fat. This is our hypothesis. Experiment Next, we put our hypothesis to the test with an experiment. In this experiment, we will put an equal sized piece of each type of chocolate on three equal plates. Then, we will leave them in the sun. We can use a stopwatch to see how long it takes each one to melt. Sometimes it's interesting to repeat the same experiment in different situations. For example, we can put the three types of chocolate in the microwave or boiling water and see if the results are the same. Sometimes experiments don't turn out as we expect, and that's okay. Trial and error is an important part of the scientific method. We can learn a lot from our mistakes and make changes so that the next time goes better. Observe and collect data. We observe what happens and record it. How long did it take each piece of chocolate to melt? Which one melted first? Was it always the same one? Analysis Let's analyze the data. We can compare the time it took for each type of chocolate to melt and represent it visually on a bar graph. Graphs visually represent our data. Was our hypothesis correct? Conclusion Finally, we make a conclusion. If the white chocolate melted the fastest and we know information about its ingredients, we can say that the hypothesis was correct. White chocolate melts faster because it has more fat. So, this is the scientific method. It's the best way to discover and understand the world. 
try it and become great scientists. See you next time. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.